Alright, so this is one of the typical computers I get once in a while. As you can see, fake antivirus and uh, other malware is running in the background. So this client came to me and finally decided to come to me after he could no longer use it, obviously. And uh, we'll see what we can do. Actually, this video has actually been shortened down from like 30 minutes to just 10 minutes. I actually decided to use uh, Ultimate Boot Win CD uh, and try to do a bootable environment. Right here, I'm just installing the network card to get to get the ball rolling on on this PC. Actually, Ultimate Boot CD has saved saved me a lot of trouble in the past, and uh, it wasn't necessary this time, but I just wanted to use it. Again, this bootable environment does help a lot. And uh, get it installed. Let's get the network installed. Now, after this, I uh, actually got uh, Dr. Webb's uh, Curate Antivirus software. It's uh, free for one time use or for home or whatever. And, and I, I decided to, to go that route. It's quite effective. Extremely effective of finding rootkits mainly because it tries to cure it instead of deleting it. So that's why I like Dr. Web a lot. And uh, this this computer was ridiculously I don't know. It was a lot. So right here, I'm just gonna do a custom scan and try to find try to find uh, rootkits and uh, other malicious malware that may be hiding in this computer. So I decided to go to Windows. Yeah, into Windows and search for file uh, system 32. That's where uh, rootkits might be hiding. This should only take take about 10 to 20 minutes, depending how how big the file is. But uh, yeah, that's what you want to do if you're if you're crunching for time. Oh, and to to the right is actually my PC. That's my personal PC. I just work off this one uh, screen. You always gotta have a backup computer when you're doing repairs of this sort. So it's scanning. I believe I only find two rootkits in, in this uh, PC. I believe so. And uh, they were both removable or moved as it will. I'm not quite sure if it... Uh, see there's one already after a couple of seconds. Or is it just a... Yeah, a T. No, it's probably a Trojan. But anyway, yeah, I did find two after the, the whole finish of the scan. And you want to try to remove everything as much as possible. This is just one of the initial steps of, of the process. I always start with Dr. Webb. <laughs> yeah, I probably could have shortened this video down a lot more. Oh, there we go. So the only, I found 16 pieces of malicious malware. Two of them were rootkits, and other other ones were Trojans, I believe, or 32. I'm not quite sure, but it did find a, a huge chunk. Even after this, I still couldn't it, couldn't get to this. There was still a fake antivirus alert and and others, so you couldn't even get to the task manager or try to install anything. So the next step, I decided to uh, boot it to safe mode. Safe mode. Safe mode was still pretty stable. You were actually able to do uh, uh, malware malware scans of all different sorts. But mainly, I just uh, went for for malware bytes after this. I actually used malware bytes, I believe, three times to get everything. You'll see how many mal how many pieces of malware I actually removed. So right now, we're just gonna cure all of this and uh, try to get back into safe mode. All right, so now we're gonna restart restart the computer and boot up in safe mode. I actually borrowed this Ultimate Boot CD from a friend, so it wasn't actually mine. I I built one before, but for some reason this time I couldn't get it around. Okay, so now we we're gonna go into safe mode. I actually downloaded the malware bytes uh, off my primary computer to the right just to save me some time. Didn't really want to deal with that whole internet connection uh, block. So instead of going, let's go into safe mode. Avoid using safe mode with networking, to be honest, because that will just download uh, download any extra malware that 
download any extra malware from those downloaders or dialers that might be running in the background on this computer. So let's start it up and uh, let's go into administrator. Yes, so just press no. You can do system restore, but actually you gotta do I'll actually get back into that later. So after this, I actually went to my flash drive and, and installed malware bytes. It's amazing that, that, that you can download malware for free and just clean and clean, clean continuously. So there's actually a paid version. I haven't tried the paid version, but the free version is fantastic. So let's get this started. My computer. Let's go to M3. And uh, where is it? Oh, there it is. Malware bytes install. Usually it'll take pretty quickly. Agree. It's pretty. It's a. This download at the time was pretty fresh, so it really didn't need an update. So let's just go and install it. There you go. And uncheck the update because obviously we don't have no uh, no internet connection. To finish, generally scans depending on the, on this PC. I sometimes it'll take an hour. Sometimes it'll take two. Sometimes it'll take three three hours, and I'll and do a full performance scan to scan the whole computer but uh, luckily this case was just 40 minutes but uh, I don't know yeah so let's scan obviously I shortened it down just to 10 minutes because it will be quite boring so there we go so we got two four and after 40 minutes we ended up with 2,258 pieces of malware and this is only just the second scan so in the first scan we got 32 so we're about 2,200 pieces of malware already on this computer so you can tell why it was so unstable and all that stuff all the registered keys file 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 actually the, the worst kind so remove all of it and uh... Yep, remove remove all of it. it took, actually, it took a while. It took like five minutes to uh, remove all of it, which was no surprise. But this is actually the f <laughs> this is a record. Actually, I think the last computer that had as much as this was probably 500 at the most, or like 700. Mm, I don't remember, but it, yeah, 500. So you can tell why it was unstable. And even after this, I still couldn't get into the, the uh, I still couldn't use the operational system. It was still had that fake AV on it, and it was keep blocking every move I was doing. So, my next step was to uh, do a um, Kaspersky Rescue CD on a USB. I did it off a of USB, and, and because I didn't have a, a CD available, and uh, decided to do that, I actually skipped through this and uh, just decided to. Yep. So there's a Kaspersky CD, you, the non virtual the non graphical version, or you can actually choose uh, graphic. But uh, what's the point? You, you, you just want to get you just want to get through this and remove as much malware. On this one, I think I removed about an extra 50 pieces of malware. I'm not quite sure. I don't remember, but it it, it was a lot. So that's 40, 40, 230, 230. So that's around 2,200, 350 pieces of malware. Luckily, after this, I was able to get into the operational system and be able to install malware bytes again on one of the um, one of the accounts. So this is the second time. I actually just fast forward through all of it. You can actually check updates now. I actually checked an update and uh, went through and did another scan. So this is even missing a missing taskbar. I couldn't even get that. I couldn't even get to administrator's uh, the taskbar. So after the scan, I found an extra 97 pieces of malware. 97. Again, more registered keys. Oh, a lot, whole lot of infected registered keys. So let's remove all of it and reboot again. Actually, after this, I decided to run Super Anti Spyware. It, that found around 450 tracking cookies or so. But I just did, I just forgot to uh, turn on the camera and uh, record it.
It's, it's very common for people not to put passwords or put two letter passwords. I was kind of shocked to find out that it was just two letters. I hadn't even called the client to for the password was for the primary administrator account. I ended up erasing one of the second accounts because it was just very out of order and couldn't get it back to restore. But all their stuff was saved. And uh, this is basically it. It took me about a whole day almost just to get it all back to working order. And uh, yeah, that was the end of that.